Welcome back to another Ohm Lab tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about uh, one easy way to achieve some rather complex sounding uh, filter modulation. And uh, you can do this regardless of whatever synth you're using, whatever DAW you're using. Uh, this is a pretty universal approach. Uh, so it should be applicable to uh, pretty much everyone out there and all the projects you might be working on. Um, so uh, we've just kind of prepared a very small MIDI clip here. You can see that this is the progression that uh, the synth will follow. And this is just a quick uh, bass synth that uh, we built for an upcoming project called Super Fat here. You can hear it. It is indeed Super Fat. Um, and what we're going to do today is program some rather advanced sounding uh, filter modulation, uh, but we're actually not going to do it um, within the synth itself. Uh, now, some of you may or may not be familiar with uh, Massive. Well, I guess that would be all of you. You may or may not be familiar with Massive. Many of you are probably already familiar with Massive or have at least heard its name. Uh, the reason why it's it's called Massive is because it's so incredibly deep um, and each one of these little boxes here uh, provides you the opportunity to add another modulation controller uh, to the mix and then there's side chaining capabilities and 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 the options just continue to go on and on and on um, but what if you're not using a synth as robust as Massive or what if you've already used all of your modulation slots you can see here that one has already been used uh, by envelope one and if we click on that tab you can see that there's a very simple envelope curve here and what that's doing is controlling the cutoff of uh, both filters one and two um, to, to give it a, a, a little bit of motion some some opening up as the as the sound actually develops over time um, and you can hear that as the notes play okay so you can kind of hear that open up uh, and let's just kind of pretend that uh, either you're using a synth that that didn't have more modulation capabilities or all these slots are full or maybe you just aren't a good programmer in general with synthesis perhaps you're not you know a, a, a deep sound designer um, and there's no problem with that uh, but you still need to know how to get the most out of these sounds uh, and that's where something uh, like a MIDI effects can come in okay so we're actually going to open up the modulator here uh, we are using Logic Pro uh, you do not have to use Logic Pro you can use any DAW um, they all have MIDI effects nowadays. Uh, you should have the ability to modulate almost any parameter you can think of um, in various different ways. This is a, a, a pretty open and universal approach to modulation. So uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to uh, use an LFO. Okay, and, and by default, the LFO tool is already turned on here. Let's go ahead and switch this to a sine wave. That's a little bit more recognizable and expected for most folks. Um, and let's turn this down just a little bit so we can maybe see the curve happening a little bit better down here. Okay, so you can see that there's this active, this ongoing modulation that's just waiting um, to begin affecting a certain parameter. And right now this is set to a mod wheel and that does not need to be there. We're going to go ahead and we'll just set it to the first empty slot that we see and that's number three here. It can be any MIDI channel. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select three. And then while we've just selected that, it started sending um, this, this signal. And, and all DAWs have basically the same approach with their MIDI effects, so this is pretty universal here. So we're just going to go ahead and right click on the cutoff knob of filter one, and we'll say MIDI learn. And it'll automatically uh, recognize it. And you can see that the, the wheel is now moving. Okay, that knob is going. We're not going to worry about filter two, even though it is active and it's playing a present part in this. So if we now play back our uh, our synth, we're going to hear the modulation in effect. Okay, not exactly advanced sounding. Um, and this is where uh, the, the, the ease of, of the workflow happens <laughs> with, the, with the addition of this uh, plugin, because you don't have to go programming all this crazy stuff. First of all, let's go ahead and we'll set this to single. So it's going to re-trigger every single time uh, we trigger a note. Okay, If it's free, it's just going to pick up wherever that waveform was, uh, where it left off uh, before a new 
note is triggered. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll turn on the envelope. So um, envelope to LFO rate. This basically allows the LFO to follow an envelope curve. Okay, now uh, this same exact thing can be done inside of a synth like Massive, but again, not all synths are as robust in their modulation assignments capabilities. Um, and again, you may already have your modulation slots completely used up, so this is a good thing to know for everyone. Uh, so now that this is following an envelope, we can uh, listen to this again. Okay, it's really not doing much different. We're going to increase our output level. Okay, and now we're going to uh, force the LFO to follow the envelope each time a note is triggered, and we'll hear that change. And watch this knob going crazy over here. Let's say you don't uh, necessarily want that to have that full of a range. We can adjust that right here with the envelope to LFO amp. Now remember, amp is referring to the overall level of the signal that's leaving this part of the plugin. So this is that level is is the range basically. It's not necessarily volume. So let's turn this up a bit, and you'll see this change over here. Okay, now really quick before this leaves us, you'll see that the, both the top and the bottom threshold, the high and the low of this LFO signal has shifted, and that's because we've actually shifted uh, by percentage the envelope to LFO amp parameter. Okay, so that gives us uh, a better sounding overall modulation, and this sounds very complex. You would have to uh, program both envelope curve and LFO and hook them up accordingly through you know some side chain programming here but instead uh, none of that actually happens in the synth so you can do this with any synth regardless of the synth's actual capabilities for for internal modulation <laughs> And that's without making any adjustments to the attack, decay, sustain, or release here. Um, if we were to do that, if we were to, say, shorten the attack and lengthen the release, maybe we'll shorten this down here. Okay, so you're, you're, you can kind of gauge how this all works. Okay, and because it's visual and because these parameter options are always the same, um, you can use this with any synth and have confidence in how your programming is actually going to end up sounding. So that sounds pretty darn symmetrical, and you can see here with the number values that it is indeed symmetrical. Let's go ahead and toss on some drums. You can see how this actually sounds um, as, as kind of a complete thought. Okay, that's just a stock drum loop from the uh, logic library. It's nothing special. It's just uh, simply to illustrate, you know, how this that kind of push-pull effect that starts happening with uh, with filter modulation like that, and how a more complex one actually begins to uh, play with that with that beat and the 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 I guess the charge or the aesthetic of the of the overall sound. <laughs> Okay, and um, yeah, of course you can make a much more complex um, or much more simple modulation schemes. Um, and you can, of course, assign this to any parameter uh, that's listening for uh, that, that MIDI controller signal, and that's, that's anything. That's anything in, in a modern DAW. Uh, so this is a great way, again, uh, to apply the modulation to any synth, um, regardless of its own capabilities. Um, hope it helps. 
hope it kind of explained things for you, and we hope that you can use it in your very next project. Thanks again for tuning in, and we will see you again soon. Cheers.